This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using chemistry, chemical engineering, metallurgical engineering, and others. Refining processes employ a series of steps using mechanical and chemical extraction and concentration methods. Each step serves to separate, concentrate, or transform states. In essence, the precious metals, like building blocks, are transformed in steps by connecting with other building blocks and then taking them apart until the resulting products are pure precious metals. Our previous videos presented concentration and refining steps used in mineral processing. The hydrometallurgical videos presented processing techniques that require wet chemistry approaches to separate the precious metals from the surrounding materials versus pyrometallurgy, which requires heating and smelting operations to perform the separation. These processes are used in different sequences depending on the feed material, primary or ore versus secondary scrap. Pyrometallurgy involves melting or other thermal treatment to concentrate or extract metals. There are various pyrometallurgy processes ranging from simple burning off of volatiles to complex chemical reactions that can only take place in molten metal or molten salt form. Precious metals each melt at different temperatures with extremely high melting temperatures among the platinum group metals. In some cases, high temperature furnaces using advanced technologies such as plasma and induction melting are required. Here are examples of pyrometallurgical processes used in precious metals recycling and refining. Calcination is the thermal decomposition process used to remove volatiles or simply burn off materials. For example, photographic film and paper are refined for their silver content by first calcining to produce ashes which are removed in subsequent processes. Electronic components are also calcined to concentrate the metal components. Certain catalysts and other platinum group metal scrap are also calcined to concentrate the metal components. Roasting, or oxidation roasting, differs from calcination in that there is a reaction with the metal-bearing components. For example, sulfur-containing minerals are roasted in air to transform the metal sulfides into metal oxides, which can be easily dissolved and extracted by leaching. The resulting desulfurized material is called a mat, which can be then crushed and ground prior to leaching out the oxidized base metals to leave a residue rich in precious metals. Nickel and copper sulfite ore containing platinum is an example where the process is used. A copper nickel mat rich with platinum group metals is produced by roasting. The nickel and copper are then leached from the mat leaving a high grade precious metals residue. The more complex remaining pyrometallurgical processes will be reviewed in our next video. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.